everyone, Lisa here AK Crafting Diva. I'm back today with another little video for you and I thought I'd share with you some more techniques we can do with the brand new creative stencils. If you didn't see my previous video I was sent some brilliant new products from craftstash.co.uk. They're their brand new creative stencils. These are going to be part of the creative dies range so not only can you get their essential dies, stamp sets, you can also now buy their stencils. To start with there's going to be 8 a six stencils and they're going to be priced at just 2 99 each making them excellent value for money they're really a top quality product and very versatile and easy to use a go-to craft supply for any crafter out there last time I focused on the flourish stencil today I'm going to work with the wood grain stencil I thought I'd share with you how we can take the stencil and make this gorgeous wood grain effect background for our leaf die to sit on to make this card what you need is a piece of craft card and your wood grain stencil. We take some washi tape and we stick our stencil to our cardstock like before. I find top and bottom is the best to do to make sure it's nice and firm. Then you want to take yourself some ink. I'm going to be using some Tim Holtz Distress Ink Vintage Voter and a piece of cut and dry foam. Then what we want to do is rub the ink through the gaps in our stencil and you can put on as much ink as you like or as little ink as you like just so all the area is covered in your stencil. Make sure you go over all your stencil until every little piece has had some ink through it. Once you're happy that you've covered all your area what you do is again take the bottom piece of washi tape off holding your stencil in place and then very gently lift up your edge of your stencil to reveal your beautiful wood grain to your back of your card. Once you've done that I have made myself a nice little frame to go on top, 3D on top and added some green pearls. We want to stick this onto a card blank so get some tacky glue Stick some tacky glue on the back and stick this onto our card front. Once you've done that, I've took a die from the Apple Blossom Collection, leaf number one, and I've die cut that from some craft card again and inked through it. This time I've gave it a little shadow with some black card. I've put some 3D foam on the back. Take that off and we want to stick that to the centre of our design. Then I went on and made myself a nice little tag again out of craft card and just added a little peel of sentiment just for you. I want to put some 3D foam on the back of that and stick that on top of our leaf die cut. As you can see it makes an absolutely beautiful background just by using some ink through the stencil. To clean your stencil I recommend you just wipe it over with some um, baby wipes. Another great tip that you can make do with these stencils is you can add acrylic paint through them. To get this effect what you need to do is get a piece of white cardstock, bring your stencil back in, again place it over the top of your cardstock, again stick your stencil to your cardstock top and bottom and this time I'm going to be using some acrylic paints a pearl one and a nice orange one and what I do is bring in a glass mat put a little bit of paint onto my glass mat and then I've got myself a nice sponge applicator mix the paint together and then give it a nice dab all over getting your paint your gaps so the paints mix nicely together this gives your background a nice texture to it carry on until you've covered all your area once you've done that we move our glass paint out the white plate out the way again remove the bottom of our washi tape and lift our stencil up and as you can see you get a nice texture to your background and gives it a nice pearl effect. Once this is dry I cut the 
little background up into little squares Matt and I had on some nice pearl yellow cardstock and added the words love, peace and joy from the uh, creative stamps bold sentiment range so as you can see just from these two stencils you can do so many beautiful effects from um, what we did in my previous video the texture paste you can also use them to do dry embossing into your cardstock the inked background and a paint effect background this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with these stencils making them such a great value versatile craft product to have so again the designs I have was the creative stencils flourish stencil and the creative stencils wood grain Thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it, please leave, feel free to leave your comments as I'd love to read them, hope to see you again soon.